question for myself. Like, how did it go? Are you okay? Do you still want to be a teacher? Um, was it too much? Are you happy? Yes, I still want to be a teacher. It was absolutely amazing. I am really happy. I'm happy with my choice in education. And this student teaching process was a lot, but it it wasn't half of the things that I'm going to have to be doing in as a first year teacher. So it it was great. I loved it. Um, there were some things that I probably didn't need to do. This is the parent contact. I'm, although I am happy that I did give them an opportunity to contact me, nobody did. So, um, the binder. So some of the things in there I didn't need, like the transportation. Like my teacher had her own way of transportation, um, but like. I did need a binder to put all the curriculum and to keep my lesson plans organized and for worksheets that my teacher had given me. So I think you should make a binder, but maybe don't put anything on the tabs yet. Um, I'm happy that I had a My Why tab, but my kids didn't, my kids weren't kids who got a lot of free draw time. So I didn't get a lot of drawings, um, but maybe your, your school does have a lot of free time. So you would get like drawings and cute things um <laughs> on the last day a little girl like tore a corner of a paper so it's like a triangle and it says I love you on it that's literally the only thing that I got from that class but it was like really cute <laughs> um the student list, my teacher just printed off her roster, but I do think you should have one because one, you can have their birthdays, but two, like for holidays and stuff, you can like have their names spelt right and keep my score report in there, but I didn't need it. Nobody asked me for them or anything like that or like proof. I just kind of said, yeah, I passed all my exams. <laughs> um, I used my planner, but like I said in the video, I'm genuinely a very plannery person. If you are not that person, don't get one. You don't need it. Um, and I'm happy that I brought like aspirin, Tums, things like that. I use my deodorant a lot. I'm surprised on how much you forget to put on deodorant. It's not just me. I forgot deodorant a lot of times and I was like I'm so glad that I have this in this in this corner a sweater take a sweater it's so cold for what reason it is so cold <laughs> take a sweater take an extra um uh, like dress I don't know if your CT is gonna be as awesome as mine but my CT she was like this is your classroom <laughs> so like I could even like hang clothes in there if I wanted to I would have an extra set of clothes just in case I didn't but I think it'd be good to have. Um, okay, and I wanted to show you guys my online calendar. And my kids loved the About Me PowerPoint. They loved getting to know me and they would even talk to me all the time. Like, you have chickens? How are your chickens? Can we see your chickens? What about your dog? Oh my goodness, your cat is so cute. And so like, it was just a great way to, for them to get to know me and like make conversation for the whole semester. So let's get into how I lesson planned. So I got this from Teachers Pay Teachers and um, like I color coded it, but let me show you. I really like this because I can type in everything that I am teaching for that week or things that I need. And then I color coded everything so that when I was counting my days, cause like I said, we have to do 75 days. I was able to see, okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, I have four days this week. Oh, but I missed that Monday. Oh, I'm leaving early for class. Oh, it's a teacher work day. So it was really great way to, for me to stay organized. Um, so I'll have this 
calendar thing linked below. Be true to who you are. If you're not somebody who is a type A person like me, don't even stress yourself out by starting one. Do it how you do it. Take it one day, one week at a time. But I'm somebody who need, who plans ahead. So I needed this for my sanity to know what was coming up next, what I needed, how many days do I have, um, and things like that. So I hope this was helpful. Um, there wasn't really anything that I would say that you need to do other than be yourself. Be yourself as a teacher. Be yourself as a person. And don't be afraid to tell people your ideas because I get, I found a TikTok. I found a TikTok literally of the website Gimkit, and I was like, this would be fun for my kids. So I brought it up to my teacher, and she was like, uh, yeah, make one, and we'll like bring it up during planning. And then uh, I'm just thinking about my teacher. She's really funny. Um, I had told everyone about the website, but not that I made one. So I was like, yeah, it's a great website. And then she was like, and you made one? <laughs> I was just remembering that. Um, it was really funny. But yes, I made a GIM kit, shared it with the team, and they used it. And they still use GIM kit to this day. And so I thought that was really cool because, like, as a student teacher, you kind of feel like, like, I'm new. I don't know anything. But, like, you're bringing things as well as they're teaching you so don't be afraid to speak up don't be afraid to ask questions i asked so many questions and not only to your mentor teacher i observed like all of the primary teachers and i asked them all the questions that i had and everyone was really helpful and nobody was like oh, i'm so annoyed you're asking too many questions like everyone wanted to help so I wouldn't be afraid to ask your questions, be yourself, and student teaching is very scary because it, it seems so taunting, but it truly does go by so quickly. Like, I, it was just January, how did I already graduate? So, um, enjoy every moment. You're gonna miss these kids, even when they're absolutely getting on your nerves. Um, take it in, because you're gonna miss them. I miss my kids a lot. And it was a great experience. My student teaching was fabulous. So if you have any specific questions for me, let me know down in the comments. Get to know your APs, your instructional specialists. Ask them questions. I was so scared of my instructional specialist, like, in the beginning. She just seemed so scary to me. Um, I think it was just because she always had, like, like an AP microphone thing. And I have, like, PTSD um, from when I was in school. But she was so nice. Like, when I finally got to know her and talk to her, I just wanted to ask her all of the questions. And she was so helpful and so sweet. And I loved her. Like... She even gave me her personal number and was like, if you ever need anything, let me know. And like, I asked her to observe really late. She saw me, she observed me the next day. Like, be as open as you can to everyone because everyone's really nice and helpful. And even some people like stopped me in the hallway and was like, you're a student teacher. Like, hi, I teach fifth grade. Come, come see me. So get out of your shell um so yes i hope this video is helpful um like i said if you have any other questions i'm here for you this is a fun time it is such a great time i cannot tell you that enough so don't be afraid you got this be yourself have a great day good luck